So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today I'm gonna look at the stances for Nikana. So Tranquil Cleave, Blind Justice and Decisive Judgment. And all three stances have a V polarity which matches both the Nikana and the Dragon Nikana and they also add the same amount of mod capacity so you can swap them around at will. And let's start off with Blind Justice which is described as a stance with reverse grip style emphasizing slashing and impaling strikes. So the first combo is called Zatis Creed and this is your standard EEE button mash and it starts off with a regular strike, it is then followed by another regular strike, then you will do an AOE double strike and it ends with another regular strike. The second combo is called Guiding Light and to execute this one you have to pause after the second attack. Okay, so this starts off with a regular strike, it is then followed up by another regular strike and after the pause you will do a dash that proc slash. After that you will do a double strike, then another strike that proc slash and does 130% damage and it ends with a strike that does 200% damage. The third combo is called Heating Call and this one is really easy to do, just hold the block button while mashing the melee button. And this combo does a lot of stuff, ok so it starts off with the regular strike which is followed by a strike that does 180% damage, which is followed by another strike that does 180% damage, then you will do a double strike which is followed by another strike that does 180% damage and it ends with a triple strike slam that does 150% damage. And the fourth and final combo is called Destined Path and to execute this one you have to hold the second attack. So this starts off with a regular strike which is then followed by a strike that does 150% damage which is followed by another regular strike which is followed by a double strike that does 130% damage, then you will do a triple strike that does 180% damage and it ends with a triple strike that will ragdoll even the heaviest units in the game, so your bombards, your heavy gunners and units like that, so that's very nice. And finally we have the charge attack and with this stance it's slightly different because if you just hold down the attack button you will start the destined path combo instead. So you have to do two separate attacks and then hold down the attack button to perform a charge attack. And this stance drops from the stalker and I already made a full farming guide about the stalker so I'm just gonna put an annotation on the screen, you can click it and it will take you to that video. Now this stance is a lot of fun, ok, it's incredibly fun to play around with it but the timings on the combos require too much precision at least for me, I am too much of a derp to consistently execute any of the combos other than Zatis Creed which is the standard button mash one and Heating Call which well you just have to hold the block button. This has nothing to do with the stands ok, this is just me being a derp and not being able to time things even with spoiled strike on my Dragon Akana. And let's move on to Decisive Judgment which is described as a stance with fierce double handed strikes. So the first combo is called Final Verdict and this is your standard EEE button mash and this combo is nothing special, it's just three regular strikes one after another. The second combo is called Consent Decree and you have to pause after the second attack to execute it. And this starts off with the regular strike which is then followed by another regular strike and after the pause you will do a strike that does 200% damage and it ends with a double strike that will proc one of the damage types you have on your weapon and it likes to hit headshots and completely miss shorter units like some of the infested. The third combo is called Swift Retribution and this one is really easy to do, just hold the second attack to execute it. And this is just a simple combo, it starts off with the regular strike and it's followed up by a double strike, nothing more, nothing less. And the fourth and final combo is called Silent Acumen and this one is really easy to do, just hold the block button while mashing the melee button. So this starts off with three separate regular strikes which is followed by a strike that does 150% damage and it ends with a strike that does 200% damage and proc slash. And let's not forget about the charge attack which is a very nice dash forward but if you accidentally tap attack before charging you will execute the swift retribution combo instead of the charge attack. Now the best way to farm this stance is by farming the Grenier Heavy Gunners and since they show up in pretty much every Grenier mission it doesn't really matter where you go but a mission I would recommend is Draco on series. And this stance is so very different from the other two stances because well it's two handed so it's more slow, more methodical and hey the combos are simple so a derp like me can actually pull all of them <laughs> off while playing with the weapon. I like it, 10 out of 10 bananas, awesome stance. And moving on to the third and final stance, Tranquil Cleave which is described as a stance with powerful arcs with frenzied combos. So the first combo is called Windless Cut and this is your standard EEE button mash. And this is once again a very simple button mash combo, it consists of three basic attacks and nothing else. The second combo is called Breathless Lunge and to execute this one you have to pause after the second attack. 
So this combo starts off with two regular strikes and after the pause you will do a triple strike that only does 33% damage, but after that you will do a strike that does 140% damage, follow it up with the strike that does 150% damage and it ends with a strike that will knock an enemy down. And if you manage to knock an enemy down with this strike, you can then use a finisher on them. The third combo is called Beyond Reproach and to execute this one you have to hold the fourth attack. So this starts off with three regular strikes and after the hold you will do a strike that does 150% damage and it ends with a strike that will proc slash. And the fourth and final combo is called Hook and Eye and all you have to do to execute this one is hold the block button while mashing the melee button. And this combo starts off with three regular strikes, then you will do a strike that does 33% damage and it ends with a dash that will hit all enemies in a straight line. And finally we have the charge attack, so if you once again hold the attack button you will perform a charge attack that looks amazing with this stance. And this stance drops from the Grenier Arid Butchers and the Grenier Frontline Butchers, so you can do pretty much any Grenier mission except for the ones on Uranus because there you will get the Drakkar Butchers and they don't drop this stance. Now this is the stance that I use the most, because I think it looks awesome and it feels amazing, but objectively speaking it is not better or worse than the other two stances. And that's the amazing thing about Nikanas, you have Tranquil Cleave, which is a one-handed stance, Blind Justice, which is a backhanded stance, and Decisive Judgment, which is a two-handed stance. And on top of that they all have a V-polarity, which matches both weapons in the category, that being Nikana and Dragon Nikana, and they add 10 mod capacity when you put it on the weapon, so you don't even have to play around with your build to swap them out. So my recommendation would be, well, just get all three of them, they're all a lot of fun, and if you're not a derp like me and you can actually pull off all the combos, yeah, you're gonna have a lot of fun. And that is it for the Nakana stances, so I thank you very much for watching once again, and if you're interested in other stances, you can click the link in the description and it will take you to the Warframe stances playlist. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.